Jean's bucket list. I would like Philip Tracy, the hat maker to the Royals, the guy who did all those great hats for the Royal Wedding, to make me my own hat. I'll have to win the lottery first. I would like a Boston Terrier. I love my Chesapeake's, but just for once, I want a dog that doesn't take a crap as big as my head. Speaking of small, I would like a Fiat Jolly. So cute, wicker seats, little fringe top, built to go from the cruise ship to the island. I like it to go directly into my garage, thank you. And speaking of vehicles, I pushed one when it ran out of gas, but I have never driven one. I would like to drive the Wienermobile. Is it too much to ask? So why do I need a bucket list anyway? It's to illustrate a point about the 2015 Subaru WRX STI, a car that has been on the bucket list of every boy racer and girl racer since it came out years ago. The WRX has been on the bucket list for two reasons. It packs a hell of a performance punch in a small package, and that package is relatively affordable. So let's talk about under the hood. There is a horizontally opposed boxer engine. Boxer, like a prize fighter, two cylinders facing two cylinders. Four cylinders that produce, with their turbocharger, 305 horsepower, and that is a punch. In addition to that, it's relatively affordable, which means you can still get this car for under $40,000. That makes it a bucket list item because it's within reach of young buyers. This particular WRX is especially notable because it's the launch edition. It's a special run of 1,000 cars with two standout features. They have this gorgeous blue pearl paint. It's a color that Subaru only uses on its competition cars. I really like it. The second feature are the gold wheels, the satin gold finish. I find it particularly loathsome. If this is the car's jewelry, it's not jewelry I personally would wear. I chose this coat to show you what I think gold should look like on a car. It should almost be silver. It's just kind of gold. You might like it, one woman's opinion. I don't usually have a wardrobe change in the middle of my driveway but I put on my business attire to make a point about the WRX. This is a car that has always been a great weekend track car, but the weekday commute, not so nice. A total buckboard. The new car, however, 2015, brand new platform, is now perfectly composed as an everyday car. This platform is wider, it's also longer, so you have a lot more room in the cabin, which helps immensely. Let's have a look at this gorgeous cabin. The first thing you notice when you look inside the Launch Edition are these sports seats that are covered in black suede and trimmed in this royal blue leather, bringing the blue theme inside. You'll also notice what looks like carbon fiber trim. It looks really great. You can't tell real carbon fiber from fake anymore. This would be the fake one, but it keeps the cost down. You'll also notice the high level of luxury amenities in this car. They're standard, not just in the launch WRX STI, but in all Subaru STIs. That's the way it's going, and that is a good thing. A couple of considerations. This is a performance car. In all performance cars, you want to have a perfect fit between your seat and the steering wheel. If you have short legs, you'll find that the Subaru WRX does not have adjustable pedals. The wheel adjusts, but you don't want to be hanging onto this car a couple of inches from this steering wheel. Another thing that might concern you is this big honking wing on the back. Is that going to impede your vision? I'm looking in this rear view mirror. You can see right through it. Not a problem. So, is the WRX STI still on your bucket list? I want to know. Let me know. Let me know what is on your bucket list.